5 seconds to go. Start. Mr. Deputy Speaker, Sir, I welcome and support this piece of legislation and I think this piece of legislation has come up before this house in time and also I have to congratulate the Minister of State in the Ministry of Finance. Sir, some time back we were discussing about the facilities to be afforded to the members of parliament and how they have to be encouraged to function properly in this house. I feel now that this is a very important piece of legislation. I also agree with many of the points which have been included in this bill, but some members have not availed of the facility of going through this bill and that may be one of the reasons why they are not taking that much of interest or unable to take that much of interest in this legislation. To me, this piece of legislation comes in the way of the black money in this country. The Customs Tariff Act of 1934 as amended subsequently and now in the name of Customs Tariff Bill is nothing but a protection that is being given to the indigenous industries and indigenous products that are produced in this country. But at the same time, this is going to stop the smugglers curtailing the black money and putting an end to this black bank as explained. Sir, the honorable member has also said that though we say so many things about these smugglers and the control of the anti-social elements who are bringing in smuggled goods into this country, the question is how far the action taken by the government will prove efficient. Sir, during the earlier period, this bill should be given importance and topmost priority. Now, we have read in the newspapers that a number of smugglers were arrested and who were solely responsible for bringing in smuggled goods into this country. The bill puts a heavy tariff so that these things are not imported into this country and indigenous production of these items may be increased. Once you stop the smugglers operations, we expected that these articles will not be sold in public, but we are not setting the correct example. I would request the Honorable Finance Minister to see that the possession of foreign articles should be questioned. If they are 
not able to give proper account, high tariff duty should be levied on them. When you are thinking of this bill, I think you are not only protecting the economy, but you are modeling the economy in the fashion that our Prime Minister has desired. The Prime Minister has said that we will have an economy where the gap between the rich and the poor will be narrowed. These people have what may be called a black bank. Whatever measures you may bring in, they have a loophole and through that loophole they bring money in this country. The law is that money can be sent from abroad through reserve bank only, but these black bank people have a separate system. They send the money through some agency and they go on doing their business without any hindrance. This is due to the fact that the officials of the customs department are not properly implementing the legislation that is already in vogue in this country. From my experience, I can say that the tax administration is not enough to contain this disease and we have a poor set of people at the top of affairs to check, control or take proper action in this regard. Whenever people come from other countries, they bring in some articles from other countries. But these customs officials harass only those people who are very poor for the simple reason that they demand certain things from them. The smugglers who are the real black bank people go outside very three or six months and bring lot of goods from outside and these people bribe the customs people. If you enter into these officials houses, you will find a number of foreign made articles there. That is the reason why we failed to enforce the legislation. We must have supervision over these people and we must have people of integrity there. These people should not be kept at one place for more than a year. Besides this, the customs officials have a feeling that they are super masters. They threaten the poor people and leave out the black bank people. They leave the monsters and allow them to grow as big as possible because you know this illegal gratification has become legal gratification as far as this bill is concerned. We may defend it. I am sure the Honorable Minister is bound to defend 
his staff it is a fact but in this parliament we have to tell the truth it is a known fact how these customs authorities function if a minister or his relation is coming from outside there is no regulation if a member of parliament is coming there may not be that much checking stop